Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. We've got a verbal reasoning type question today that we like to call homophone pairs. Let's take a look. So in these questions, you are given two sets of brackets with two words inside each, and then five words across the bottom. And it's your job to try and find the one word which can go equally as well in the first pair of brackets and the second pair of brackets. It's important to note that these aren't just synonyms. You're not just looking for words always that mean the same. There could just be any link. So let's take a look at this first question type. And the way we go about it is we look at the options at the bottom to begin with. So let's look at A. We have the word pound. Now we know we're looking for homophones because they have to mean two different things to fit into two different sets of brackets. So we're thinking straight away, what does pound mean? Well, I can think of a pound coin. So a pound is a type of coin. Uh, a pound could be a verb as if to hit something. So that's what's going through your head to begin with. All the different meanings of that word and then take a look at the brackets. So first bracket, currency, money. Well, yes, actually pound does go in with currency and money because it's a pound coin, they have the link of being money. But does it go in equally well with the second pair of brackets? We have alter and adjust. Now pound does not go with those two words. So don't fall for their trap. They want children to find that it goes to the first bracket, tick it and move on. We're not gonna do that. We need to make sure that the word goes equally well with both sets of brackets. So let's move on to the next one, cash. I can tell you straight away, cash obviously goes with currency and money. They're all linked together. They all mean pretty much the same thing. But does cash go with alter and adjust? No. So hopefully again, you can see really clearly now how the writers of these questions are trying to trick you, but we're not gonna fall for those tricks. Let's move on to improve. Does improve go with currency or money? No, it doesn't. It could go with alter or adjust. You can improve something, alter it, adjust it, but it doesn't go with both equally well. So again, we're gonna move on. Let's look at D, change. Aha, uh -huh. does change go with both of these sets of words? I think it does, let's have a look. Change goes with currency and money. Yes, the change in your pocket can be money, it's to do with currency. Yes, there is a link there between those three words. But what else does change mean? It means to alter something or to adjust something. You are changing it. So the answer is yes. Change goes equally well with both. Change is our word. Don't even need to check E, we're going to move on. So sticking with the same technique, thinking about what those homophones could mean in both scenarios, we're going to move through this one a bit quicker now using that technique. So we've got dazzling. Does dazzling fit in with intelligent or clever? No, move on. Don't even check the second one. It doesn't work with the first one. Bright, does bright go with intelligent or clever? It does actually, you can describe someone as very bright, which means they're very clever. So it does go with the first set. Does it go with the second? Beaming and radiant. Here's where this question also tests your vocabulary knowledge. You need to know what words mean. Do you know what radiant and beaming means? Well, if you do, you should be telling me right now through the screen that bright does fit in with them. It means the same thing. If something is bright, it's beaming and it's radiant. So. We've got our answer already. It's B, we're not gonna waste any time checking the rest. We're gonna put B and move on. Okay, so we have a third question for you to have a go at home. Just remember those techniques we talked about. Work systematically, one word at a time, and does it go equally well into both sets of brackets? If you find yourself stuck, you maybe you're not quite sure what one of these words mean, just try and use deduction anyway. Skip on to the next one because you might be able to get rid of it. You might know that it doesn't go with one of the brackets, so you know that's not the right answer. Remember, even if you can get it down to a choice out of four, three, or at best two, you've got more of a chance of getting it right through deduction. So if you think you've got an answer, do let us know in the comment section down below and we'll get back to you to tell you if you were correct. Hopefully you found that video useful. And if you did, don't hesitate to pick up your Hummer phone and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Awful jokes aside, we do have lots of videos on our YouTube channel, so be sure to subscribe if you want more content in the future. See you next time.